So we have hydrochloric acid here and sodium thiosulfate solution. So what's the point of today's experiment? So we are going to look at how temperature affects the rate of a reaction. We're going to react the hydrochloric acid with the sodium thiosulfate. Mm -hmm. When they react together, they produce sulfur, which is going to be a solid in solution, which, is, which we call a precipitate. Now, if we do this reaction on top of a tile with a cross on it, yeah, then as that solid precipitate is formed, that cross will disappear. Ah, all right. So these two are clear. Yep. We can't see any solid, but when we mix them together, they form a solid. Yes. And we're going to be able to um, know that this reaction happened because the solid is going to mm, make cover the cross. And so you're not exactly. going to be able to see the... Oh, this is great. Yep. Good. So we're going to time how long it takes for this cross to disappear. So what do you mean? When... So what we're going to do, we're going to mix the chemicals together and then start our stop clock. Okay. And then as soon as the cross disappears, we're going to stop our stop clock. I get it. I get it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay. Then, then, okay, shall we start? Yeah, okay, let's start. But before before you start, what, um, what was the initial point of the reaction? The, the, the initial aim? Why? Well, the initial aim of this experiment is to work out how temperature affects the rate of reaction. So we're going to repeat this reaction at different temperatures and see how that affects the rate of our reaction. Ah, uh, all right, let's uh, start and then I'm gonna ask more questions because I'm not sure. Okay. okay. So what we've done already is that we have pre-measured our reactants. So I've got um, my sodium thiosulfate, I've got 50 centimeters cubed in a measuring cylinder there. Yeah. And I've got my hydrochloric acid, I've got 10 centimeters cubed in a measuring cylinder. Why is this big and this is small? Uh, okay, so that just, means that the measurement is a little bit more uh, accurate. So I'm going to use the bigger one to measure 50 because 50 is a bigger volume uh, than 10. And why didn't you use these beaker to, to uh, measure it? Again, this comes down to accuracy. Our beaker is not a very accurate way of measuring volume. So I'm not going to use my beaker to measure the volume. I'm okay. Using measuring cylinder. Instead. Measuring cylinder. Oh, I know, because it has more lines, more exactly. graduations. Exactly. And therefore, it means it's more... More accurate. More accurate. Okay, I get it. So you measured them already. Yeah, pre-measured 50 them. sodium thiosulfate yeah. and 10 hydrochloric acid. All right, yeah. go on. And so what's going to... Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to pour in my sodium thiosulfate into my conical flask. Yeah. Okay. That's sodium thiosulfate. That's sodium thiosulfate. And why don't you use the same cylinder to measure the hydrochloric That's acid? That's a really good question. So I don't want to contaminate... Um, my measuring cylinders at all. I want to make sure that all of the reaction happens when I mix them together. Ah, uh, I know. So in case this is, which I can see here, it has uh, leftovers from yep. the previous solution, yep. it would react here and not there. Yeah, exactly. I right. see. I get it. Okay. So remember that one of the things that I want to measure here is the temperature. Okay. So rather than measuring the temperature of the room, I'm going to measure the temperature of the solution. So I'm going to put my thermometer in. Okay, I'm going to measure the initial temperature of the solution. Okay. I see. So I'll read this off. Luckily for us, it's at exactly 20 degrees Celsius. Okay, so you write it okay, I'm here. Write it in my table. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. I'm just going to have my first initial temperature there. Okay. Okay. So um, I'm going to remove this. Okay. Time being. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to. Very, very quickly, I'm going to add my hydrochloric acid. Yeah. And I'm going to start my stop clock straight afterwards. Okay, okay, okay. So you're going to add the hydrochloric acid to sodium thiosulfate and start straight away. Exactly. Shall I start when you do it? Yeah, please do. What, is it this? It's the green button. Okay, one, two, three. Whew. Okay, so... So have your, have your hand on the red button when you stop seeing the... Um, the cross. Okay. I'm gonna proof proofread that you can see because you're very old and maybe. Mm, you... Thank you. My my eyes are going a bit. You're on the wrong. You're you have the. Is it the same? I'm not wearing my glasses. Okay, so you can see. Um, yeah, can starts, you see that? Yeah. Wow! It starts becoming disappear, becoming faint. <gasps> Wow. And that's the point at which I can no longer see. Wow. That. So this this is oh this is great. This is the solid that is produced and I now can't see the cross. So what I'm gonna do really quickly at this point, now that the reaction is stopped, I'm just gonna record the temperature for a second time because mm -hmm. I want to get the mean temperature of this reaction. Okay. So I look at my temperature here and I see that it's uh, slightly less, it's nineteen point eight. 
19 when and that's not too bad let me find the mean so i know that from maths mr amilal told me that is 20 plus 19.8 i find how much that is and i do divide by two because they're two numbers and then that gives me 19.9 okay so 19.9 19.9 you didn't write degrees celsius it's bananas oh my god sorry me oh my god um, temperature yeah Mean degrees. Bravo, okay. good. Okay, so the time was time, 32. The time in seconds there was 32. Okay, seconds. 0.17. Okay. Yeah, seconds. Okay. All right. So, we've done this now. 0.77, not 1.7. Oh. I told you you're old. Mm, sorry. All right, point seven seven, and then th is that done? Well, we are we are done with this temperature, so we've done the reaction at nineteen point nine. So now we need to carry out this same reaction at different temperatures. All right, stop one second. Let me consolidate my understanding. So you have added on the conical flask the so the fifty cm cubed sodium sulfate, yep. which was clear. Then you added with the other small one because it's more accurate. Yep. What do you call that? Measuring, measuring cylinder, cylinder yeah. you uh, added hydrochloric acid so you added it in the moment you added it in yeah. you started timing yeah. and then the moment you didn't you couldn't uh, you wouldn't be able to see this cross yeah. you stop the timer because yeah. the reaction is done yeah. and then and then you re measure the temperature yeah. that you have measured when you added sodium sulfate which are forgot to say yeah. and then you found the mean temperature yeah absolutely i get it and now how would you um change the temperature so i would repeat the exact same procedure yeah uh, but what i would do is i would get some hot water from my kettle which is just boiled yeah and i would add it to a big beaker like this to make a water bath i see so you don't heat it up by having it on the stove, no. you use a, what do you call that? Uh, a water bath. Water bath. So you heat your water bath and set. And now I see. Do, yeah. We do exactly the same thing. Can you show me how you put it on the water bath? Because it's bu baffling me. Yeah, okay. So um, let's just imagine uh, I could really quickly. Yeah, really quickly do that. I'll just get rid of that into a waste beaker, given that we've got one handy. So. Really quickly, this is what I do. I would place my um, conical flask, obviously I'd get a, a clean one. I put it into my um, water bath like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I would um, add my sodium thiosulfate, measure the temperature. Ah. Uh, and, and then press start. I get it. Okay. Perfect. Thank you.